Uh, so let's look at it graphically. Graphically, what happens when you do rock hill? Right. So here's our space. We have three terms in our vocabulary. Uh, this was our query. Right. Um, now, in relevance feedback, you rank the documents. You rank them by the cosine with the query. So this means you're looking at an angle between each one of these documents and the query itself. And what I'm marking here, the pluses mark the documents that are relevant. So um, it's a toy example. And the minuses mark the documents that are non-relevant. Right? So the initial ranking is not particularly great. So you have, as you go down the ranks, you will get a mixture of relevant and non-relevant <laughs> examples. By the way, what the lines here represent, the lines are the ISO lines. The, they're the lines in space where the score of all of those points on the line is exactly the same. And that's what an ISO line would look like for a cosine because you're measuring an angle between the query. So the angle between this guy and this guy is the smallest, so the cosine is the largest. Right? And the cosine of those guys is going to be smallest because the angle is almost 90 degrees. They're, 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 they're almost uh, orthogonal to each other. Right? <clears throat> so the initial ranking is not very good. So what happens if the user marks some documents? So suppose the user marks four top documents these three are relevant, this one is non-relevant. What happens graphically when you run Rockio? So you compute the average relevant document, that's that positive centroid, the average non-relevant, that's the negative centroid, and then you interpolate between the positive centroid and the query and subtract the negative centroid. So to see what this does, I, it's, it's easier to do it sort of step by step. Interpolating the query with a positive centroid get something on the line between the two, right? So maybe we end up somewhere in here, right? And then subtracting the negative centroid. Uh, if you were adding it, it would be on this portion of the line, but subtracting it moves you to the other side, right? So uh, another way to think about this is the positive centroid pulls your query towards itself, and the negative centroid pushes the query away from you, uh, from itself. So you start with this query, and you would end up with that as the new Query. Right. So now, is that new query any better? Uh, and to do that, you basically just have to look at what sort of a ranking this new query would induce. And this is a toy example, so of course you get a better ranking. Uh, now, if you these are the ISO lines again, they represent the angles between the new query and all the documents in our collection. And so, if you see in, in the new ranking, you actually get most of the relevant documents before you start getting uh, non-relevant.